what's in store for Bitcoin for the next few weeks or so. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Using Wi-Fi without NordVPN could mean sharing your private stuff with more people than you think. NordVPN. Online security starts with a click. Is the wallet that you want to be using to keep your crypto safe. Whether you are a Bitcoin maxi or an altcoin lover, it is perfect for you. Easy to use, three secure elements, and integrates easily with Metamask, Kepler, and dozens of other extension wallets. Get one now to keep your crypto safe and secure. Go to bit.ly slash crypto rich keystone. Hi, everybody, it's Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And this is a follow up video that I'm doing with Asha from monarchmoon.co.uk. And this is all about Bitcoin. Now, before I introduce her, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Crypto Rich YT. Join my official Telegram announcements channel. I post all my videos there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please, please, please stop that. Stop that because YouTube, they deleted a few of my videos recently or they censored me and stopped me from recording and posting so please support my work on censorship resistant platforms bit.ly crypto rich odyssey bit.ly slash crypto rich three speak bit.ly slash crypto rich rumble and also slash crypto rich podbean hey asha thank you so much for making yourself available once again hey rich nice to be here again it is indeed and we're recording this on monday the 16th of september this is a follow-up video um, the first one was about Bitcoin's natal chart, which is when Bitcoin was born. This one is its transit chart. Now, do you just want to introduce yourself a little bit, who you are, what you do and why we're talking? Yeah, hi, I'm Asha and I'm from monarchmoon.co.uk. Um, I love astrology. Uh, I use astrology for transformation. Um, what astrology does is it just opens you up. It opens you up to your full potential. And um, yes. I love that. Absolutely. All that full potential. Love it. And, and you're a professional astro astrologer. You do tropical and Vedic, which is Indian astrology. Yeah. And yeah, I look at both. Yeah. And you do tarot. And uh, I do do tarot. <laughs> what happened was uh, my wife first had a reading with you. And then I had a reading with you. You didn't know that she and I were connected. And then you no. worked out in one of the first things you said to me is that is this person your wife and you said how our charts overlapped and you can see me in her chart and her in my chart and and also other things you told me that you couldn't have known you told my wife that you couldn't have known about the death of our firstborn you could not have known that but you said it was in our charts so it was just fabulous 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 and we've done a video on natal on the bitcoin's birth chart and i do recommend people go check that out and also i recommend go check out asha Go have a reading with her, monicmoon.co.uk. Uh, she, she's not set up with Bitcoin yet, but soon will be. Yeah. Uh, so you can pay by B PayPal or sort code if you're in the UK. And you do readings over Zoom and also in person where you live. And um, I'll have the links in the description below. Now, the tr the transit charts for Bitcoin. Now, the transit chart, my understanding is like what's happening currently and what's opening out, what's forthcoming. That's what the transit chart is. Yeah. Okay. So. So, Asha, what can you see in Bitcoin's transit chart? What's forthcoming? Okay, so what I can see is that the North Node is conjunct the Moon. Okay, so that's what the Moon is the feeling of the people. The Moon is the, yeah, okay, the collective feeling. Because, of course, when we're reading this chart, we're reading it mundane. So the feeling of the people here um, is actually really important because Destiny, which is the North Node, okay, it's the trajectory. Um, and that right now is conjunct the moon. So people are feeling it. That's the only way I can describe it. People are feeling it. So they may be, be researching it more, okay, uh, um, deliberately researching it. So they're, they're starting to feel it, okay. Uh, the other thing um, is before that... You then, go on, before the, you go on to the other thing, just... Mundane means like the macro level, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, sorry, mundane, it means, yeah, because when I'm reading the birth chart of uh, Bitcoin, and even when I'm reading the transit of Bitcoin, it's not personal person. Yeah. So it literally is mundane. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. and then the other thing that I can see is that the personality uh, of um 
Bitcoin, okay, is again in a very harmonious uh, conversation with the North Node. Basically, I'm liking what I see with the North Node, okay? The North Node, yeah, I'm liking what I see with the trajectory. Um, the other thing, again, the ascendant, so with the, with the North and South Node, okay, the North and South Node are like the head and tail of the dragon. That is how it's described in Vedic astrology. Mm -hmm. It is also in tropical astrology described as the future, and that's the North Node. When I'm looking at the North Node, because I want to look at the North Node to see where their trajectory is, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking at the North Node now, that is in conjunction, that means an alliance with the moon, with the birth moon, okay? So that means... The North Node, okay, is in Aries because that is where the birth moon of Bitcoin is, okay? So that is a really good, um, and it's applying. So that is a really good union, okay? That means the moon is happy with where it's going. Okay. Okay. But how, how, how does that roll out in terms of the price action? That's all people care about. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Should I buy? Should I not buy? Or even if not the price action, the fundamentals, is there going to be more adoption and more and more people getting interested in it? Okay. Yeah, there's much more interest in it. Okay, because the ascendant is sextiling the north node. So I would take that as a benefit. Yeah, it's a benefit. Having the ascendant sextile the north node means that there is more, more interest. Okay. So we would take that as a positive. Okay, um, and then with opposition, you see, there could be fluctuations. I would expect fluctuations. So, but overall, the pop fortune looks good. Now, pop fortune is good. No, overall, expect the fluctuations, but overall, it's still a good trajectory. Because what I look at, okay, I look at the ascendant, I look at vertex, and I look at pop fortune. Okay, even Chiron is suggesting that, no, no, we're good, okay? Um, with Chiron, Chiron is about healing wounds, okay? And Bitcoin is helping healing financial wounds, okay? So again, it's, it's looking good on its trajectory, but I would always expect it's online, honey. On, I would always expect up and down, up and down, okay? So... You can't help up and down. Uranus is involved. So with yes. Uranus being involved, yeah. you just got to ride the wave. But know that the other points in the chart are actually pointing to, no, no, it's really good overall. Just go with the flow. And the other thing I would say is please don't worry too much. Too much worry, well, never benefits anyone. Right. So so meaning like don't worry about where Bitcoin's, where the Bitcoin's No, don't worry about where it's going. Because and, and, it's actual birth chart is about win-win we're never going to go far from that right it's actual point of birth was that it's win-win and then when i'm looking at the uh different aspects of the the chart the north node lilith lilith loves it okay chiron chiron is happy about it the north node is happy about it and remember i'm not saying that we don't have some square energy but but square energy is about manifesting, okay? So we want a bit of tension. We want some, yeah, some tension. Because what we know is when there is tension, we know there's manifestation, yeah. okay? We know there's birthing going on. And like we spoke about in our previous video, look, it's so pioneering and so freeing for the masses that those that have invested interest in control, well, they're going to hate it. They're going to do whatever they can to derail it, to... Uh, put mud in its name, you know. But again, I would I would just take that as a good sign. <laughs> that yes. actually is a good sign. So okay. and, and, um, and and you you and said then, to me before we started looking, recording. You said to me before we started recording is that it was resting. You could see it's resting. Yes. And the other thing you've also said to me, I don't think you've ever looked at a Bitcoin price chart. No. I don't think, I don't think you'd know where to look. 
for the book <laughs> price chart, which website to go to or anything, right? So you're just looking at the astrological chart. Yes. Yeah. So from the astrological chart, um, one of the other things you said to me is about it goes up and down. Well, let me tell you a little bit about that, Asha. So if the FTSE, the, if the stock exchange, if that drops 1%, that's a big deal. It's a big wow. deal. It's a really big deal. Bitcoin drops 7 9 10%. Me and my wife like, ho-hum. Huh, huh. That's just how it is, right? Now, my, my cousins and my friends who are bankers or whatever, they get terrified. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's down 9%. No, no, no. It's just Bitcoin. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'll be up 9%. Yeah. Right? So it is very, very volatile like that, very up and downy. And you said it's going to stay like that. That is a great word. Yes. And it's certainly been like that through its entire history. Yeah. Um, it had a previous all-time high of at one point, 19,000, 19 and a half thousand. And it drops to 3,200. <gasps> no, it's ridiculous. Woo! Absolutely. And then from 3,200, it went up to 69,000. Okay. So what I want to say here is something that I hope will help your viewers. Yes. Okay. And that is everything happens in the now. Okay. So it's volatility will probably still carry on. It, it's the nature of it. It's just its very nature. Okay. It is an online system. So with an online system, there may be variables, okay? But what we always have to remember with it is that the chart says it is win-win. It was designed so that it was win-win. Um, but I would just expect, because it is an online currency, it is Uranus-based. That means it's, it's up to Uranus. And Uranus will always want it to be authentic, okay? So, and Uranus will always want it to be original um, and pioneering. It's the only way, yeah, yeah, it's definitely original. It's definitely a forerunner. And because it's still really new, okay, when we think about gold, but Bitcoin is a, it's a baby still. Mm -hmm. So, with that, it's, it is going to go up and down. It's going to have its teething problems. It's going to have people who don't trust it um, because they've always been, you know, cash is king. You know, so, uh, yeah, I, I would still expect it to just go up and down. That's what I'm looking at. But overall, let it go up and down. Sure. What I constantly see in its um, transits is that although it's got difficulties, okay, just minor, the overall arc is, uh-uh, it's good. It's good. And anything yes. you can see, say, for the rest of the month of September? How it's okay, yeah, it's resting. It is resting. Okay, so what I would say, remember before, I was like, oh, if it's resting, you only need to gather. And I don't know what I even mean by that. <laughs> I literally okay. just know. And the reason why I say Bitcoin is resting, let it rest, is because Mars is in its 12th house. Okay, so when a planet is in the 12th house, it means it's resting. Okay, actually, it's not just resting, it is a time of processing so it's going to be processing its last two years trajectory okay okay so i guess what we're actually saying is that audit it's auditing okay and then as mars um continues through cancer and comes into its first house there'll be uh more energy with it because when mars is actually when will that be uh, um Mm. Actually, darling, Mars is going to be resting uh, in that specific bit, I would probably say, until January. January? Yeah, I would Mystic. literally say it's resting. What I will do is confirm that, okay? But what I know is that Mars is in Cancer for until April next year. It's having a long spell in Cancer. Now, in Bitcoin's chart, okay, what that means is that um, Mars is in the 12th house. So what that means is Bitcoin is having a rest. It's things around it will be processing, okay? So around this time, with the action planet being in the resting house, that's really important. It's resting, okay? okay? Um, and then what date does it start? Oh, yeah, with and with the sun... Oh, actually, hold on a second. What yes. date? What date till January? Because there are specific dates in astrology, is my understanding. 
Yeah, there are. Oh, I'll have to get back to you on that, darling. Because Roughly first week, second week, third week, fourth week? Uh, I would probably even say the end. The end of January, okay. Yeah. It looks like it's having a long stay exactly where it is. So I would actually, I would wait until January the 19th or something, 25th of January next year. Okay. okay. Then we're going to notice much more movement. Right. But in, until in, then, no. Trajectory. Okay. So it's going to be resting, bouncing yeah. along as it is till, yeah. till uh, towards the end of January. Now, by yeah. the way, this isn't financial advice. This is pure speculation. Uh, yeah. do, not, do not sell your wife, husband, children, <laughs> underwear in order to invest in this or any other cryptocurrency. No, no. Definitely don't sell your underwear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to let us know about the transit chart for Bitcoin? Yeah, the sun is in the third house. So while it's resting, it's been talked about. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's definitely being investigated because with the sun in the third house, this is investigation. Okay, but it's also resting. So I find that to be really good. Um, what else? Pluto is in its seventh house. So, uh, but Pluto's in retrograde. So again, when any, when any planet is in retrograde, it's reviewing. So again, I would say that Bitcoin is going through its rest, but it's reviewing itself. So I guess what I'm also saying is the founding fathers of it are, are having analysis with it. So, and then from there, it will be looking at figures for January. Okay, and the reason why else I say that is because Pluto goes into Aquarius in January, at the end of January. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a very good sign for Bitcoin. Okay, what, why? Why? What, what is it because about? Because Bitcoin equipment? is an online currency. Yeah. Okay, and Pluto, the planet of revolution, okay, will be joining Aquarius. So. Uh, again, Bitcoin is an online money, and then the planet of major revolution and change, okay, is also going to be supporting it. It will be there with it. Okay, and Aquarius, Aquarius's role. So Pluto's the planet of re of revolution. What's Aquarius? Uh, well, Pl Pluto's a planet of complete and utter transformation. Yes. Okay. After radical change, after radical decimation. OK, so what this says is that, well, again, what we know is that the financial systems are completely going to be revolutionized. We know this as well because Uranus is in Taurus. OK, and Taurus is also about self-worth, about worth and also financial worth. So what we know is that radical change is coming. So and because we've already looked at the birth chart of Bitcoin, we know that that radical change is bliss. Yeah. So at the moment, it has to rest, okay? It's been going for a long time now, and it just needs to rest and ascertain where the next uh, trajectory is. Okay. And then, and sorry, and again, what, what are the qualities of Aquarius? Okay. So Aquarius is future humanitarian, okay? So it's for the people. The, the best way to think about Uranus is the kingdom, especially in the mundane way. Okay, Uranus is the kingdom. Okay, and therefore Leo is the king. Okay, and Aquarius is future, humanity, yeah. Pluto is revolutionary forces. And just on that, as an example of that, everybody's talk, astrologers are talking about Pluto return because Pluto is returning to it. The Capricorn, yeah. To, no, yeah, it's in Capricorn currently, but then it's moving yeah. into Aquarius. But with regards to the United States, it's going back to where it was in 1776. Yes. yes. The revolution. Yes. When the Americans threw out threw off the yoke of British imperialism, good luck, thank goodness. Yes. Right? And so we're going through that sort of radical yes. transformation. Yes. And what Absolutely. you're talking about is a radical transformation in the yes. financial system, which is for the people. Yes. And this is the good news. Yes. CBDCs will fail. They will fail. <laughs> for all sorts yeah. of reasons, including because it's written in the stars. The Vedic astrologer scholars say so. <laughs> all right. And, and, you know, at some point, Asha, we may do videos about that, about macro politics and stuff. Anything else you want to say about Bitcoin's transit before we finish up? 
no, just really, really, really relax and trust the process. That's what I will always say. Trust the process. Okay. And if uh, in any doubt, go back and look at its inception, its blueprint, because that's the natal chart. That's the natal chart. And, mm -hmm. and I'll link to that video in the description below. And, you know, one of the best ways of, of acquiring Bitcoin is what's called dollar cost averaging. And what that means is, you know, you buy, I don't know, $10 worth every day or $50 worth or $100 worth every week, regardless of the price or $100 worth every month, whatever you can afford. Um, not financial advice and don't invest any more than you can afford to lose because there's no guarantees for anything in life. And you want to make sure that you've got your Bitcoin in a good quality hardware wallet and have a link to the Keystone wallet. And of course, this means nothing to Asher because she hasn't got any Bitcoin yet, but I'm going to set yep. up right with that. So uh, get <laughs> a good quality hardware wallet to keep your Bitcoin offline. And also you want to use a VPN to keep your transactions secure. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. Now, link to a VPN in the description below, NordVPN, use my affiliate link and then you'll get um, something like a two thirds discount on some of their packages. And what you want to do is is go follow um, Asha, go try out an astrology reading. She also does tarot cards, monarchmoon.co.uk over Zoom or in person. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with astrological insights and Bitcoin profits. This is Crypto Rich and Vedic Asha signing out. All the best. Bye bye. Ah.